Hello and welcome to the Fitting in Fitness interview series. I'm your host, Catherine Basu, and if you're a busy woman who's looking for a more compelling reason to fit fitness into her life besides just looking cute in her skinny jeans, then you are in the right place. During this series, I'm talking to some amazing rock star women who fit fitness into their busy lives and cite it as one of the keys to their success. They're going to be sharing how they got started with their fitness routines, how fitness has had a positive impact on their lives, and what you can do to start fitting fitness into your life today and start seeing results as well. I'm so excited that you are tuning in and watching this series and want to learn how fitness can help bring your business and life to the next level. My guest today is Shelly Mitchell. And Shelly Mitchell is pretty amazing, but here's her bio. She's oh, wow. A... <laughs> I have to pretty get amazing. <laughs> you are pretty amazing. <laughs> she is a former Army sergeant with two combat patches, Cosmopolitan Magazine's first fun, fearless female, an author, nationally recognized speaker, and currently one of the most unique, sought-after, top business consultants, business coaches in the country. Together with 23 years of successful sales, marketing, and corporate and executive real estate development and management experience, with a unique diversity of award-winning direct sales experience, she teaches and inspires audiences how to be fun, fearless, and focused in business and everything they do, and finally make the money they truly deserve. As a certified ADHD coach and CEO of My Personal Business Coach, Shelly speaks, coaches, and teaches nationally to smart, driven, creative entrepreneurs and leaders so they can get clear on what they really want, create a plan, focus on their priorities, and take action so they can make the money they truly deserve. So even though you're watching at home and we can't hear you, I'd love for you to give me a loud, fun, fearless, and focused welcome to Shelly Mitchell. Thanks for joining me, Shelly. Okay. Woo! Hey, I'm <laughs> glad to be here, especially with you. This Aww. is an honor. Thank you. No, I'm so excited. You're pretty amazing yourself. I'm like, why is she calling me? She's all hot and all that herself. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, oh. no, I I think I could definitely aspire to be to be more like you. So I'm I'm really honored that you're you know taking the time to uh to share oh, no. your thoughts We're, and your story. <laughs> thank you. So. <clears throat> Love, I mean, love your bio. You've done a lot and really amazing and inspirational. What does a typical day in the life of Shelly look like? Okay, it looks like this. <laughs> <laughs> and then I go, what just happened? You know, it is. Well, I became an ADHD coach for a reason. It was to help others because there was nothing wrong with me, right? And then I realized when um, my, my son was diagnosed with ADD and I was already a business coach. And I started uh, going through school and I realized that I had a lot of things that I could work on. And my philosophy is not to fix what you have been told your whole life is broken, but to really go and find a way where you can use your gifts and strengths. So it's passion, your passion and the gifts that God gave you that you know who you were put on this earth to go out and share with the rest of the world. Do that. Do more of that and find someone else to do the parts that you're not good at or take you longer there's nothing worse than a business owner who knows how to do everything in their business because then they drive themselves and everyone else crazy. And I've been that person who didn't have the money, didn't have the time, so I learned how to do everything. Um, my day is very different every single day, but one thing that I know that I can attribute to my success is really time blocking and the time management. People with ADD don't have a concept of time. Those who don't have ADD think that we don't care about their time, which is not true. We just don't know what happened to it. <laughs> and, <laughs> but it's the time blocking and time management. And I, you know, there was a time where I wasn't doing anything at all other than business, 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 business. And I wasn't even getting a greenie in. I wasn't doing anything healthy, not even getting the right foods or anything. And I, at the time, I had an awesome health coach who's a lot like you are. Um, I think you guys even even met. But she says, I figured it out. Why you are not doing it? Because every week, I'm like, I don't know. I, I just didn't get a chance. I didn't get a chance. She was, because I created a daily success planner on my website, which is at mypersonalbusinesscoach.com. Okay, and she looked it. at it. That's yeah, awesome. it's a daily success planner. I give it away as a free gift. So anybody who's listening to this can get it at mypersonalbusinesscoach.com. And she says, I looked at the daily success planner. I figured it out. You don't have anything in there built in for you. I said, oh, I had in there the number one thing on teach people how to make money. 
So you have in there, and we make money, and we teach our clients how to make money. The other thing is what's the priority, and what calls, what emails, all the things you have to do in your business, I left out me. And I'm like, damn, you're right. So I changed it. So now when you get the Daily Success Planner, number two, of course, number one is making money. It's my number. You would make it number one. I would make it number two. <laughs> At least it's not number three or five or 15 like it was right. before. It says then, which is what one thing are you going to do today to focus on you? Because we have all of these great aspirations to go out and do fantastic things. And we're going to do this fitness program and I'm going to now look like you, even though I'm 50 years older now and, <laughs> and all of that. But if you can just incorporate one thing each day, you're going to be better off than you were before. So that's, you know, what I think has helped me because otherwise I was completely neglecting myself even after losing a hundred pounds and getting healthy then I had taken gone from corporate to my business. Once you have your own business, you forget all about that. Forget about exercising. And now I put it in my time blocking. I get in the hot tub and I stretch and I do a little bit of one paragraph of reading just to balance mm. myself, work on my list, make sure everything's lined up. But I have that one thing in there is what am I going to do for myself today? Not in a selfish way. Like it's not a spa day or anything, not every day, but, uh, what one thing can you do healthy, which could be meeting with you or a meeting, you know, a meeting with your trainer. I don't have time to go to the gym every single day. So what right. you do is huge for entrepreneurs oh, to be able to keep us focused on the right thing. No, definitely. And I, I love, I'm glad that you have the planner and we can, I can do all the links for everyone too, because I actually, uh, I, if you guys might not know this, but I actually was able to meet Shelly, um, even though she's in Florida and I'm in Texas uh -huh. uh, a few months back. And, um, I love that planner. I, I had a, downsize a little but I, I was huh? using it for ever since we met in, in, in my uh, I had a binder for it and that, that really helped me a lot to focus because same thing and you have to there's calls emails you have to make and if you put it in one big list it's very overwhelming but when you have it blocked out it's like mm -hmm. sit down do the emails and, and that was always a, a huge time yeah, but even everything in one place because those of us whether you have ADD or not entrepreneurs we wear 200 hats right so we're all over the place and it's like I get rid of sticky notes it's because it, you've got people's numbers on sticky notes. You've got card, <laughs> business cards under the car seat. You've got everything on envelopes. Like you've got like sticky note stuff to your butt at somebody's <laughs> name. You know, what am I supposed to do? If you put everything in one place, you can focus on it. And then you have that one piece in there. What are you going to do for yourself? So we had the weekly success planner and then the daily. And I created it for myself. And then I started sharing it with other people. I actually have a planner that we're getting published that's got that in it. And it's also the whole year. Because a lot of my clients do events. They get out, they speak, we put on events for them uh, to build their business, regardless of what business they're in. And I needed something that was going to help them plan that out because yeah. you start with the end in mind and back into it. And I wasn't finding anything that had everything all inclusive where you could plan your events, but you could also plan your day. And it also included the gratitude and what you were going to focus on in abundance and all of the awesome holistic things that we also focus on. And I couldn't find anything that had everything. It was either real woo-woo or real <laughs> rigid. And I needed something that was all-inclusive. So no, we're trying to exciting. get that published. Yeah. But And it's what I needed. And hopefully if anyone else needs it, we'll get it for them too. But I needed it. And yeah. I didn't have it. No, definitely. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I didn't realize that you had that for free on the site. So that, that'll be a great thing for people to pick up. All the, all the entrepreneurs listening that feel scattered right now, that'll be a great a great benefit too. Awesome. Because that's your day. If you didn't balance yourself, you'd be like, ah, that's my day. <laughs> Every day's different. It's all it's different. And it can be, and that's what makes it fun, but you have to know where you're going. And then we color code things too. So for when you're making money, it's a green. So if you don't have enough green on your calendar, you know why, right? <laughs> Um, then if you don't have something for yourself, it explains exactly why it's not happening. Yeah, yeah. And definitely you have to have somebody in your life that everybody needs a business coach if they have a business. But everybody needs a health coach or somebody to help them focus on what's important to them. And what I love about you is that you don't try to tell people, you need to do this and you need to do that. You really help them understand what it is that they want. It was a life coach who helped me lose 100 pounds. Not, I mean, it was somebody who, kept saying, come, just come see me, just come see me. She was in my BNI. I'm like, what can you do that Jenny and Nutri can't do? You know, it's <laughs> like, trust me on this. I'm like, blah, blah. for six months, I wouldn't go there. So, and then I'm not, I don't know if you want me to tell the story. I can later, but it was really, she put that mirror on me and really showed me 
helped me see, helped me pull it out from inside of me, why I did the things that I did or didn't. And it's funny because a lot of people, especially those of you who are listening, everything may look perfect on the outside and you've got this one thing you can't get under control and there's a reason for it. And we don't, we, we don't understand because we think we're doing all the right things. And it's somebody that, like you, who's the outside looking in that can help pull it out. Oh, so true. Yeah, there's definitely pieces if, if you're if you don't have those pieces down, like whether you know you can work with a trainer all you want and try to work on your nutrition all you want, but um, you're not gonna. Yeah, you're right. You, you really need to get the other piece. So mm -hmm. very insightful. <laughs> you can write a business plan all day long and have all of the business knowledge, but if you don't have the other pieces in line, it's not gonna happen. Very it's true. The same thing. You got we're we're together, girl. It's the same <laughs> stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So. In your busy day, I know you, I, I love that you have it in your planner. How like how do you normally fit fitness into your routine? Um, this is the question where you said be honest, okay? <laughs> yes. And so I was in the when I was I always struggled with my weight uh, growing up, and then I was gonna I wanted to go in the army, and this is before anything happened, and I had to lose twenty two pounds to go in the army. I was overweight for the army, mm -hmm. and I lost twenty two pounds in twenty one days. Went in the army, immediately gained four pounds just when I ate. Uh, and fought my weight even throughout the army. They did the tape test. So I fought with my weight. And then once I got out, I was injured. I hurt my neck. I had neck disc problems, lower back problems. I'm very injured. So I ballooned up. I got out about 160, 170. It got, in over the next 10 years after having my son and working my way up the corporate ladder, I was a vice president of a company by the time I was 35 years old. Wow. So I know how to get what I want, yep. but guess what? I was also 262 pounds and had to use a scooter at Walmart at 35 years old because mm. I wasn't taking care of me. There's that piece of I maybe I wasn't worth it or whatever I was going through. Sure. And you finally come to this place in your life where you know, like, this is enough. Enough is enough because my son wanted something from me. So the train, not the trainer, the coach, the, the woman who was my friend, she said, and she was an addict coach, I believe. And she was, I think you're addicted to sugar. I'm like, I'm not addicted to sugar. You're crazy. She, I know everything. You know nothing, right? She says, well, can you give it up? I said, why would I want to do that? Can you do it for seven days? I'm like, I'll show her. I can do anything for seven days. That was the hardest seven days ever, trying to give up sugar. It was like, I've never done crack withdrawal, but I'm assuming that's what it's like. You know, <laughs> was they, getting off crack. They say that though. They <laughs> say hard. that sugar can, is supposedly mm. even more addictive than cocaine. It's like they found that in, uh, in, it was in lab animals. So. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, and I was doing really great during the day, and then I need a bowl of cocoa krispies at night and sabotage my efforts because the sugar and the milk and chocolate was kind of soothing and helped me relax after a very busy day. I was running a big company. And I came back a week later and I was complaining about what I gave up and this and that. And she says, let me get this straight. And I quickly realized that when she said, let me get this straight, I was in trouble. <laughs> and she says, you told me that your son has been a perfect kid and he's watched you climb this corporate ladder and you've missed, you know, his birthdays. You, you missed um, tying his shoe, teaching him how to tie his shoes. Someone else pulled his first tooth. All he wants to do is go snow skiing and you, right? And I said, yeah, like, where are you going? She says, and you can't go. You told me that you don't, they don't, you can't fit into the snow pants at size 22 and you're in so much pain, you can't get up. So you're telling me that the stuff you're complaining about is more important than him. Mm -hmm. So from that moment on, when she made it about him, I don't want to get choked up because he's 18 now. He was 12 at the time. And uh, it's more important than him. I didn't touch sugar for three years Wow. at that point. <laughs> So, and that was, but I was an all or nothing because once you have it, it is like crap, really. Cocoa Krispies, hmm, you know. <laughs> and so I got a trainer, but I hated working out. I didn't like it. I got, I would get sick. I showed up late. I was like, uh, I went because I spent a lot of money on it. And he was awesome. He would, if I, if I got, he would call me if I wasn't there. He stalked me. He was amazing. <laughs> but after I lost about, you know, and I was in the army. So I had done a lot of things. Um, had taken, I even got certified in aerobics one time. I mean, I've tried it all, tried it all. Jenny, Nutri, it all. And I tried it all. And he put a pair of gloves on me, which is boxing gloves. They, and I was like, these stink. What are these for? But when I, it was, I finally found that one thing that I really enjoyed. Mm. So I guess the point of what I'm trying to say is 
it, it took me 40 years of doing all of these things where I didn't like fitness. I didn't like working out. I hated running. I was always the last one. I, and I ran in the army. And I just didn't like it. But when I started kickboxing and sparring with him, not the class. So people go, I kickbox too. No, you did kickbox. <laughs> to me. But some people like that. But keep trying something. Mm -hmm. Find somebody who cares enough about you who's going to show up for you when you don't show up for yourself because I wasn't showing up. And he was like on me and he was half my age. He was really hot too. I told him he had to wear shorts <laughs> and snow. And I'm not coming unless you're wearing shorts. But <laughs> he's like my little brother now. But uh, he, and then when I left after a couple of years and moved, I was a year and a half later, I was training to fight competitively. I lost over 100 pounds because now I found that thing that inspired me. And I had that person who was helping me. So I got to Florida and then stopped losing weight because I didn't have that support anymore. Mm. On those days, not that it doesn't get hard anymore, but you have to have somebody there. It's going to get hard. I tell people that in their business. Having your own business is hard. Whoever told you is easy is lying and they're selling you some <laughs> magic pill from stage. It's hard, but it's awesome. Yeah. And if you can find somebody to support you in your business or support you in your health journey and your weight loss or even just staying fit or reaching those goals, it's worth it. And that's what makes a difference. When I have that person supporting me, I do well. I do the right things. So right now, I haven't had the right person. And I've been kind of trying things out. And doc I have a lot of pain, injuries. I have five discs that are messed up in my neck, torn wow. stuff in my back, my shoulders torn. I can't box anymore. I can't do I had an, another accident. And you get frustrated. Yeah, yeah. And they're like, do yoga. I'm like, yoga? Really? Do you know me? Can you imagine me sitting still for more than two minutes? The joke people kick me out. Um, but I need, so I had to get people to help me try to find things that I love to do. So it's like, don't stop. That's the thing. So yeah. when I find, when I when I have something that I want to do, I, I have to block it in my calendar. One, number, I have to put it on that list of priorities. And I have to find that support person who's going to kick my, you know, when I don't, when I lie to myself right. and I tell myself stories about it's hard or it's this or it's that, because that's what we do. And sure. even the best coach in the world can coach someone else, but you need that person there for you. And it's important. And I love that you're doing this on Skype. I oh. love it because there's so many people. We don't have time to get in the car and go to the gym and come back. That's two or three hours out of my day. I know. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Especially when we have our business, it's like you have all, all that, all, you know, everything else going on. It's easy to really, you know, you don't really have that time to drive. And no, you don't. I would love to go to Pilates, but I got it. One, it's expensive. Two, I got to get, I got to get ready, get in the car, drive over there, do the class, listen to three old ladies talk about their weekend. I'm like, can you just? I'm just kidding. Whoever, like, whoever talks in a fitness class and telling you you're driving me crazy. No. <laughs> I'm just oh well, yeah. I remember when, well, when I used to teach some classes and. I, I agree. They shouldn't be talking in the fitness class. <laughs> some people there for social, great. If they're going, great. That's not what I'm there for because I took a lot of it's I'd rather work. I love working. I love working with my clients just like you do. But if I'm in it, I need to take care of myself. I'm getting <coughs> older, you know. My son's in college now, thankfully, and I wanna live around I wanna be around for a long time and I wanna feel good. It's not so much of being in skinny jeans, but one looking good on stage because I speak a lot and travel around. I wanna look good. Yeah. I wanna look like at least I can manage somebody's finance help them with their financials. If I can't even manage my weight, then how am I gonna manage someone's financials? And um you, you gotta have that support. You did. Yeah. When I did well, I had a health coach trainer who would help me when I was speaking. She'd help me make shakes and stuff and have the right person in your life and you can do it. You can do it alone. If you do, you can do it alone. There's something else missing in your life because if you're doing it alone, you're not fulfilling everything that you can. Sure. Well, it's like with the business coaching piece. I'm sure you see that when you work with clients that if they, they can do something on their own, but if they have the coach, it yeah. takes it to the next level. Absolutely. <laughs> Your job's to push us to places we didn't think we could go, right? <laughs> exactly, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, I, I, you've touched on this a little bit, but any specifics or certain things you really want to share with us about how adding that fitness piece has had a positive impact on your life, um, besides just fitting in the, in the skinny jeans and looking cute on stage? Can you, anything you can share there? There's a couple of things that, that I do want to share because I have a son. There's people out there who may have children mm -hmm. with LDs or learning disabilities. I have a son who was diagnosed with ADD and he couldn't take meds because he had a heart condition. 
So I went back to school for ADD coaching. And what I learned, and he learned, and he actually ended up, he's now, he was failing school and he got arrested just two years ago. Now he's got three published books and he had a TV show and he spoke on stages and he got him into college. But what he taught is, is the omega-3s and having the right, getting sugar out of your diet. Because mm -hmm. for me, if you have focus issues in your business or you're all over the place or you find that you go up and down and you're lagging, and he did this too with his homework and he wrote an article in uh, More Ways to Succeed with ADHD, actually a chapter about going for a run or doing something cardiovascular 20 to 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. If you don't take meds or even if you're not ADD but you have focus, that'll give you three to four hours more focus in your business or your homework or doing your bills or whatever it is that you need to pay to doing your taxes that you don't want to do. And so it's really important not so you, you look great in your skinny jeans, but so you can do other things better and focus, pay attention. And it works great for um, homework and also for your business because there's things in our business we don't want to do. Right. And then the sugar, getting rid of the sugar is huge. I know, I can tell when I do hit the sugar, it was after my dad died that I started I started mm. dabbling in sugar again, you know. <laughs> but it's, it's those little things that I wouldn't have known had I not gone to school for ADD. And there's other sure. things that I've learned, too, that health coaches and fitness people have helped me incorporate. If you have pain, there's certain things that you can help people get into their protein shakes that help with overall pain that's natural. You know, there's all kinds of things that we think we know that we don't know that people can help us with. Sure, sure. No, I, lo I love that. And yeah. I guess, so I guess, you know, you ha like sometimes you have the coach and everything. What do you, do you, are you always 100% with your fitness routine and, and get that Zen time in every day? And, oh, and, hell no. <laughs> and if not, how do you get back on track? And, and can you give us some insight there? <laughs> so I teach, here's a good example. I teach time management and I help people get organized with their business, but I'm very messy and cluttery. So I have a per, an organizer who works with people like me and she'll come and help me help me get all straightened up. And then when it gets to a place, because when things are out of order, whether it's your health or your clutter or your business, we get paralyzed when we get overwhelmed. Mm. So I'll go, I'm coloring outside of the lines again. And she'll come in and help me get refocused. It's the same thing with my health is I'll start off really strong and I'll do certain things like this. And then when I start finding myself waning again, I recognize now there's a problem. So then I call in for help. I call in for reinforcements and I'll start back on something. I do though every single day. I have to, I get in the hot tub and stretch and all of that because it helps me be more mobile and helps with my pain. And that's important. You have to do that. You can't not be mobile. Otherwise, yeah. you, can't, you can't help your clients if you can't help your, you know, take care of your body. Your body won't... I travel all over the country and I'm going 20 hours a day. You have to have a way to stay focused yeah. and, it, and the health is a big part of it, but it's really, it is tough when you have your own business you just have to call in reinforcements when it starts getting out of control. So I don't stick to it every day. I want to, but what I also learned is not to beat myself up mm. to get back on track. I live with the left brain compliant person and he's like, I'm working out. You didn't do anything today. But I go and I try to do things that I know are right for me. And I know how to recognize when I start. Do you feel on a line? You can't focus. If you feel like your day is spinning, there's a reason for it. It's because you started off spinning. Mm. So I have to take that moment in the morning to really ground yourself. For those people who know about electricity, there's a ground wire and that keeps you balanced with a neutral charge. And that's what having these routines in the day are for. You can be the craziest, busiest entrepreneur but if you put those routines in your life, and if you don't know how to have it, talk to a coach, your business coach, your health coach, all these people, because that's all we do all day long for that particular area. Yeah. And that's why I'm so excited that you and I got to connect Aww. because of what you're doing for entrepreneurs, because we get the short end of the stick. We have to build our business, period, period. And how are we going to take care of ourselves? And you're providing a way to do that. It's amazing. Oh, thank you. And hopefully, yeah, yeah I mean, and I, I just I was just hearing so many women, um, you know, my, my entrepreneur friends saying how they've, you know, gone through their business and they just get so focused and they thought they have all this time to go to yoga and do their workouts and and they find that they're stuck and they can't fit that fitness piece in. So it's it's great to have you know women sharing their stories who actually do fit it in, even though they are busy and doing amazing things mm -hmm. in their business. So that's I'm glad to share your thoughts too. It's so. true. <laughs>
it's, if you have all this time to go to yoga, you're not growing <laughs> your business fast. You know, it, and you you really have an awesome part time business. I'm very happy for you. <laughs> but if you're really like on that, you're growing and you're just trying to build and you love what you're doing. You're trying to help more people and touch more people, and you're out speaking, and your days are just filled with serving other people. When do you do anything for yourself? You've got to find that time, or you can't give it back. Thankfully, I have. Uh, several massage therapists who are clients. I have That's graphic awesome. designers. Who are clients. All the people who are support people in my life are actually clients. I help them make more money and they keep me in check. And then I get to meet amazing people like you. So I'm I'm the luckiest person in the whole world. Aw, no, it's it's amazing to have your own business. There's nothing like it, right? That's <laughs> it is in so many ways, in good ways and bad ways. And but I I wouldn't have it any other way. So <laughs> no, no, I can't imagine you locked down in one place. There's too many people out there who need you and for you to be able to get out and into the world and do what you do with your passion and your amazing smile, which I remember from the very first time I saw you. No, you're doing exactly what you were put here to do. Oh, thank you. No, it, it feel, it, once you find that, it feels like you feel in alignment. It feels, it feels great. Mm -hmm. So, no, I, I, It I, wasn't until my son rolled fitness and he was 50 pounds overweight and he was failing school. And when he started changing... Um, you know, we started doing these things to help his ADD. One was the fitness, eating differently, just differently. He still lives that way. His, he's not an A student, but his, his grades, almost days that time, his grades went up, his relationships got better, he started getting cuter girls, you know, <laughs> <laughs> it all worked out. <laughs> so health plays a big part in everything, right? Yeah. I think, and you mostly, you've touched on this question before, but any, like, advice for women who feel like they're just so busy that they don't have time to fit fitness in any words of wisdom there I guess you know in addition to what you've already said that you might want to give them pick one thing don't try to take on everything just say what one thing can I do so this week and I love this somebody did this to me because I'm like I got to have a greenie every day every day every day and because I didn't do it I gave up and I didn't do it at all that week and so someone what one thing can you do differently this week? Can you just get one more greenie in this week or one more time walking or one more time with the trainer or one more day that you just one thing and, and not beat yourself up because when we do that, we don't do it at all. Right. And that one thing is going to help us. It's, you're not here to impress everyone else. You're here to do it for you. Love that. And this, this is a good question for you, actually, Shelly, because I've been, I've been asking everyone, but since you're, you're, fun, you know, you're the fun, fearless uh, uh -huh. woman uh, factor there, what, uh -huh. what dare do you have for our listeners, something you know, easy, actionable that they could do this week or even, mm -hmm. you know, even today and implement that in order to start seeing changes in their lives? What do you dare them to do? <laughs> What do I dare? That, well, I have, I work with a web developer as a client and she's so stuck and everything has to be left brain. I said, if you don't go do this, we're going to go skydiving. Oh no. I said, well, then <laughs> you you need stop writing copy and go talk to a client. You know, um, the one thing that, <laughs> so on my website at my personal business coach.com is the weekly success planner. And if you looked at it, you see on there, it says, what one fun thing are you going to do this week that that's fun or new? So you decide, you decide what it is. I've been to an Indian restaurant. I'll try anything <laughs> once and I'll do the fun things again and again. But you're never going to know if you don't try it. So if you've not done something, don't turn your nose up at sushi or don't turn your nose up at skydiving or don't turn your nose up at working with, you know, a business or going to yoga, you know, because I'm like, oh, yoga, I never go to yoga. <laughs> I tried it a few times. It was okay for me. I like Pilates. But try one thing. And if you haven't found the right thing that you like to do in fitness wise, go pick something you that you don't like and just that you don't you think you don't like. Just try mm. one thing differently and one thing new. That's it. It's up to you because everybody's tried something different. But that's what I, right. I, I just do something one thing different. I love that. That's fun. <laughs> I might have to take that dare. <laughs> I <laughs> won a pole dancing party <laughs> once. I need to find that certificate, but I want to know if I can just watch my friends do. My back started hurting just thinking about it. <laughs> so, oh, it's like a, a whole party you, you won? Like, yeah, they, they, all these like cute young girls that look like you come over and they teach me and my old 40 plus friends how to pole dance. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's supposed to be fitness related, but no. 
I, my back hurts just thinking about it, but I think it would be a lot of fun. Just try something different, right? I need to find that certificate. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey. Hey. Up, right? I, well, I may send pictures and I may not. I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll let you know later. Well, it's de- I mean, that's, that's a workout, though. I mean, it's, it's different, but it's got to be a workout. <laughs> so. I, my stomach's going to hurt from laughing so hard. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Awesome. Yeah, we'll see. Pictures are none. You have to let us know how it goes. <laughs> yeah. But isn't like the Snapchat where you get it, but you can't see, you know, you can see I it really quick. I think so. I'm not even that ahead of the, the game to know how all that works yet. <laughs> oh, you under, I thought everyone under 40 knew those things. My son knows. I'm like, what are you doing? He's like, I'm Snapchatting. I'm like, what is that? He goes, take a picture, but it goes away. I'm like, for what? He's like, mom, don't ask. I'm like, oh. <laughs> Yeah. It would be my pole dancing class. <laughs> See, there you go. Now, now you have Me and all start. my entrepreneur friends. <laughs> I love that. And mm-hmm. I guess one other thing I've been asking women to share is, um, you know, the popular thing with being the beginning of the year is picking like a word of the year. So if you had that this year or maybe like a mantra or a quote that you have that you, that you live by, that's something that could maybe give us a little extra inspiration. I'd, I'd love for you to share that with us. Someone said the other day, for me, the word is focus. Hmm. And focus means different things to different people. For me, it is slowing down a half a notch, not a whole notch. That's too boring. Half a (laughs) notch to go, okay, step back one second and look, as you said, look back at the way that everybody else sees things or how other people can perceive it and then move forward. Hmm. So focus, I think the other key word with that would be awareness because we go, 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 especially if you're that smart, driven, creative, highly spirited entrepreneur like myself and 80% of the people I work with, we go, 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 and we don't have awareness of what's going on around us. We step back a second and go, okay, that's the best direction versus, ah, you know, (laughs) the focus and awareness really, um, this is going to be a great year uh, for me and my company. It's going to be a fantastic year for you, Catherine. It's going to be awesome. I'm excited about it. (laughs) I hope you'll come to Florida for our event. Uh, that was really cool. Uh, March 27th, 28th and 29th. It's called destined entrepreneur. And it is for the smart, creative, driven entrepreneur to help them find like the simple solutions and done for you. So you can get out and be the genius that you are. See, there's nothing better than that. (laughs) No, that sounds like a lot of fun. And, and so I was going to ask you this next, actually, but good, a good lead-in. Where can we find you? Mypersonalbusinesscoach.com is my website. We've got a lot of little events going on. I say little one-day events. We've got mm. Speak, Sell, Serve coming up. It's fun. It's I'm, I use my former Army drill sergeant uh, with a whistle, and you got 30 <laughs> seconds to do this, and we got teams going on. It's teaching people how to speak uh, quickly, effectively, get your message across to your ideal client. Mm. And but these are people who want to serve others. So they start, they go in a circle, you know. So you want to serve and teach people how to make money. And that's all leading into the three day, which is destinedentrepreneur.com. And it's all connected to my website at mypersonalbusinesscoach.com. But get the free gift. So the, the daily success planner and weekly success planner, that'll help anybody. And um, we'll yeah. keep in touch that way. We have all kinds of awesome things going on. And you're a great fit. You need to come and be with us. Okay. I, I love to. Oh, bring, bring some hotness and beauty to the to the event. <laughs> well, I definitely have to say, like I, I already said this before, anyone watching, definitely go get that because I've, I've used it and it helped me. And I need my little, like, I was using a, a binder. I just have too much stuff I carry around that I had to get into the little small mm-hmm. book again. But I still, but I've been sectioning it off and doing my day. So it, it's really, it's, that's really helped me a lot because I was all over the place and checking my emails like you know twenty times a day, and it was just not good. <laughs> It's just that awareness and focus. You're already a genius, right? <laughs> you are. It's just, but Thank the focus for piece is, <laughs> is a big thing that, that, that sometimes is missing. You get me. a thousand great ideas. Well, yeah. the problem is, and that some of us buy lunch or before we go to sleep, it's, it's that implementation. So stop chasing a thousand things and pick one, go forward, and, and go make a difference in the world because you were put here to do it. This is not your gift to keep to yourself. Love that. I mean, that's that's what hopefully everyone's doing that's watching is working on their dream and um, you know hopefully inspiring others, right? Exactly. Love it. You've inspired me. I'm gonna have to go work out now. <laughs> I, I had, <laughs> I had someone green. else who, who was wearing their uh, sports bra and she's like, I got it under. I'm gonna go work out after our, our work after our uh, interview. Sure. So I now this it. bra is not going anywhere near a gym. Right? <laughs> <laughs> that's not gonna work out. <laughs> 
Well, I really thank you. For, I've had a lot of fun with you, Shelly, and, and thank you for sharing your expertise with us today and your tips. And, and I hope everyone watching gets to go, go over and check you out and, and at least get the free gift, if, if nothing else, because I know, like I said, it's helped me. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I've loved having you. <laughs> so Thank you. Um, thank you so much. It's my honor. And you're going to be uh, amazing as you continue to move forward on this journey. And I'm so glad that we've crossed paths now. And I hope that we now stay this way and um, continue to get to know each other even better. You're you're awesome. Thank you Aww, so much. Thank you. Thank so, you. This is, it's been a great pick me up and ego boost to talk to you too. Oh, <laughs> I love me that. Me too. You asked me about fitness. I'm like, what? No. <laughs> you have to, it, it's something you got to do it, you know, yeah, but yeah. find what you love and find someone who's going to support you and cheer you on and you can do it. Awesome. Yeah. Well, this has been so awesome. This is going to conclude today's segment of the Fitting and Fitness interview series. Don't forget that your dare from Shelly was to go and find something that you haven't done before and go try it out this week and let us know about it and mm -hmm. maybe share some pictures, tag us, you know, whether you're whether you're doing your pole dancing class or something else. <laughs> um, let us know. Keep Tag us me on that pole dancing class and I'll have a prize for you. I love um, that. I would love to see that. <laughs> Tag me on your pole dancing class and I have a very special gift for you. I will come up with something at least a hundred dollars or more because that would be just a great uh, thing. And I can't wait to see that. <laughs> So yeah, you have to let us know if you accept accept her dare or not. We definitely want to see proof. We're gonna we need we need proof now. If you we need proof, <laughs> yes. yes. So let us know. Comment comment below. Let us let us know your thoughts. Let us know how it goes. What you think? And um, really appreciate you watching this segment of the interview series. Hope you'll come back and get inspired by more awesome ladies like Shelly. And thank we'll you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Shelly. And bye, everyone. <laughs> bye. Thanks.